Hey, everyone. Hey. It's Rita for Miss Rita to the rescue. How are you? My teddy bear here. The contractor's here, so he's got the, I don't know what it is, a generator or not a generator, like a thing that, a compressor, and it makes a lot of noise and he doesn't like it. So he's going to be around here. And he was squeaking a toy a little bit earlier. Hey, how are you all? Let's talk some flamingo action. Good morning. Look at this cute card that I made this morning from a flamingo file that says we just fit and I thought this was a good topic <clears throat> for today because um because originally the file was very plain oh hi Regina <gasps> you were kidnapped for your birthday <laughs> oh that sounds like Great fun. Um, happy birthday, belated. Happy birthday. So <clears throat> I thought flamingos were a great topic of conversation today just because they're so different. I mean, have you ever, like, seen a real flamingo? They are really so different. I mean, they look like a bird, but yet they're they're very unique. And they even hold their legs funny and they're pink you know, um, sometimes they're really, really pink and sometimes they're light pink. And by the way, did you know that they, they, um, get their pigment for their color from eating shrimp? That's what somebody told me when I saw them in Florida. Um, and so I think this is a great topic for cricket crafting simply because, um, when crafting, we can put our own little touches on things and make it unique. Um, and so that's where I was going with that, with this topic. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, when I first cut out these flamingos, I was looking for pink color, like pink paper. And I had this and I thought, well, yeah. But then I saw this piece of color and I thought, yeah, yeah, but I've seen them also lighter. And, um, and I think what I really like about this one here is it's, um, it is the little, their heart shaped wings, which of course they don't really have, but, um, I think that the designer, which the, in this case is Rob and Bob, but there are a number of really great flamingo type cards i love flamingos too um and so i wanted to kind of show you how you can change things up just by uh, substituting uh, maybe the color of paper maybe using a patterned paper instead not just changing the uh the sentiment. So yesterday, someone asked me, oh, can you change the sentiment on that card, which is the one we did yesterday called Dear to My Heart. And I said, of course, we can change the sentiment. This is cricket land, and we can do anything we want. And that's good. That's a good thing. So um, the same thing with here. This one here comes in as a sentiment. But then I started thinking about what I said. And the thing is, not only you can change the sentiments, not only can you customize it, but you can get, um, oh, hi, Dawn, you're out of bed. Good, good, good. Um, is you can customize it by using your own paper. And I know a lot of people say, oh, Rita, you got such great paper and everything. Honestly, um, yeah, I do have a lot of paper, but um, you can work with what you got. And for instance, today uh, for this particular card, I picked up this um, card pack cardstock pack from Michaels. Um, it's part of their Valentine's Day collection. And actually, if you can get over there, because online they sold out of all of these, but in individual stores they might have them. But this one's called Sweet Talk. And 
it was not part of the hot buy. So normally it's $19, but I, they had a 20% off thing going. So I think I got like four bucks off uh, of this for $16 and you're going to get 24 designs and you're going to get a total of 48 sheets. And um, most of them you can use. I mean, some of them are like really good for scrapbooking but most of them you can use and why not use them instead of just plain white is my point that I'm trying to make. Yeah, you know, I think Michael's has been wiped out for a couple of months and I think that's because everybody's crafting and everybody's home and everybody's cooking and crafting and and I suppose I should be happy about that um, because, you know, people are doing all the stuff that I do on a normal basis and uh, so I don't feel like a maverick staying home, being with you know, with you guys, but, but also it means that sometimes it's hard to get the stuff you want. Um, and so before we get into this topic, I just wanted to tell you, I did get my pillow covers in from Amazon. Um, and here is the, uh, this is red and I, I'll send, I'll put a link on, I got these at Amazon um, they did take a little while, but I thought we could make some red pillowcases. Um, also, if you were online yesterday, you saw me come on talking about felt. So I wanted to show you my little foray into felt. Um, and this one here. So I was able to do this iron-on love in pink on this felt, but I had a little trouble sewing it because this popped out. So, um, I have this, this larger one, right, love, on the felt. And so, you know, I oscillate between being very, very simple, like this, love, to being a little more ornate. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but when I looked at this, um, this particular project... I was like, well, it's very simple. It's just a white card with an insert that says we just fit. And how am I going to put my spin on it? Right? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to put my spin on it. And I started thinking of different things such as let's change the, um, the, sentiment which I can show you how to do that and or we can start using different pieces of paper whether it's glitter or some foil or maybe even some cardstock patterned paper like this which I really like this one um, because it's hearts and everything and I don't know for me I think this looks better than the white but then again it's me, my cricket, my my decision, and that's what's so wonderful. You don't have to do it exactly like they're telling you to do it or they're suggesting that you do it. That's also why I love sewing because you can pick your your um, own fabric and you can make it all different ways and and all of that. So anyway, so let's get started. Oh uh oh, wait a second. Let me just check. Bren, we're in a. You're in an emergency lockdown. Oh, Bren, you're in um, Canada. Uh, oh, okay. Good morning to everyone. Deidre, Susan, Regina, Regina's birthday yesterday. Tam uh, Tamra and Melissa, Annette. Um, yeah, curbside's the best. Kim, Shelly, uh, Lori, Laura, Sarah. Christine, Dawn is here, Michelle, Penny, yay, flamingos, uh, David, hello, um, Shirley, and uh, let's see, who else? Shirley and Shelly, and Shelly with an I, Shelly with the Y, Shelly with an I, and Marissa, and um, another Shelly? Yeah, I think there's two Shelly, a lot of Shellys. Deborah, and all these people, Amy, Vicky. 
and Bren, of course, and all of these wonderful people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Friday. We made it through another week. Woohoo! Hi, Rosalind uh, and Linda, Terry. We made it through another week, and it's getting closer to um, Valentine's Day, Love Day. So I thought, why not do an another uh, card? And I know some people are really big fans of flamingos. So I went and searched for, um, for flamingo things, and I came up with these four cards that I want to show you. Um, oh, I know, Dorothy. I know, but, you, but well, everybody has to work, I guess. We're going to miss you, Dorothy. Mm, sad. But you'll come on Saturday nights, maybe? I know, the month's already halfway over. We've got one month to Valentine's Day. Um, <clears throat> I'm looking at my calendar on Monday, and nobody has mentioned this in the news. Well, then again, there's a lot going on in the news, but nobody's mentioned that it's Martin Luther King Day on Monday, um, which I think the kids get the day off from. My son is back in school. He's in a brand new campus um, that they moved to over the holidays, and so he's a little overwhelmed, I think, right now, but he, but he's, you know, pushing through, which is great. So, I don't know. There's a lot to say about flamingos <clears throat> and um, how different they are and unique. Let's go to image search and just look for flamingos which is exactly what I did here. Just type in flamingo. <clears throat> okay, so there's like 157 results, which they're not showing. Why not? Come on, show me the results. Show me the results, flamingo. There's actually even um, two image sets called, one called Adorable Flamingos and the other, which I think is kind of a double, a double, they're all adorable, aren't they? And then there's another flamingo page, but I wanted to see them on just the regular images. So I'm going to type in Flamingo. So this one here that I'm doing today comes, it's actually at the bottom of the search for flamingos. And so you might overlook it. And here it is way down at the bottom. And it actually shows small because it shows it with the envelope. This, if you, by the way, if you ever click on you see an image and you like it and you're thinking, where does this come from? Are there others like it? Um, are there, are there whole image sets that are, uh, about flamingos or, um, you know, maybe you want to do something, live love flamingos for a shirt. Yeah. Design space has been really glitchy. And what did somebody say? Cranky. I like that. Um, so if you found an image that you really are interested in, you can click on this I. And when you click on that, that letter I in the circle, it will tell you a couple of things. One, it gives you the image number. And this is useful if you're um, sharing information with others. So for me, if I said, you know, type in this image number, MBF607D1, if you typed it in, in the image search, you would get this exact image. So that's useful. Um, and then also there's a green thing that says view image sets, and that will bring you to the set. So e every image out there belongs to an image set. Um, it's sort of like the old cartridges. Somebody was asking me about cartridges this morning uh, on YouTube. So in the olden days of Cricut, they used to have these little cartridges, kind of like horseshoe shaped. And if you have an Explore, you probably have a little opening that shows um, where you would put a cartridge in. As a maker and a joy, we don't use the cartridges. So um, so they've dispensed with that. But um, each cartridge had, was on a theme and they each had a name. And so when you would go and look at images, for example, 
typing in flamingo and you thought, gee, I kind of like this image. Um, maybe you see this, I don't give a flock. <laughs> and you want to see where does it come from because maybe I need to see this. You would click on that eye and you would then click on view image sets. And this one comes from an image set called Summer Forever. And now that you know the name of that image set, you can go and look for it by typing in Summer Forever when you're looking through image. And these are really great images that I didn't know existed, you know. So there's a lot of great summery um flamingo and all the rest kind of great images. Um, so... Here is our flamingo set. I wanted to point out a couple of images that you could do. I didn't um, make them yet, but um, here is this great gnome with the flamingo uh, card. And there's also, um, let's see, where is this? It's kind of it's kind of uh, plain, but it's just flamingo card um, over like an overlay, an underlayment. Um, and then we've got a couple of other different flamingos. So your choice is yours. And we're going to do this one here at the way bottom, even though it's kind of small, you might have overlooked it. So we're going to just insert that in here. Now let's see if I can move this stuff. So it comes in with an envelope and we're just going to move all this other stuff that we uh, had here before. It comes in with an envelope, which you could certainly make. I generally don't um, use envelopes, so I can, I'm going to um, ungroup this and hide the envelope. You can also exit and it will remove it from that image. And then once you ungroup it, regroup it. So that way you can make sure it's the size you want. Now this comes in sized as a five by seven inch card, which is an A7. And yesterday we talked about different card sizes. There are two card sizes that generally are used um, in scrapbooking, but there are all different card sizes. So this goes back to the days of stationers, stationary or stationers, stationary manufacturers where um, when we did stationery, they had to um, assign like codes to a size of a card. And the one that we use the most is A2, which is eight and a half by 11 inch cut in half um, width wise. So it ends up being four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Okay. So that's a two, four and a quarter by five and a half. Then there's five by seven. That's an A7. Um, and that is this one here. It's 10, it's 10 inches wide because we have to accommodate for the back, but when closed, it's five by seven, okay? So don't get overwhelmed by these codes, but yesterday when they introduced some things about, um, about the different cards for the joy, you know, they, they kind of mentioned A1s, A2s, and A6s. So I don't want you to get overwhelmed by that. Um, generally speaking, um, we're, we're going to be using, uh, A2 size and then A7 size. A2 size works for the joy. A7 size works for, um, the, the maker and the explorer, but you can do either size. And you know what? You can size it whatever you want to size it because with the envelope, you can change the size of the envelope. But if you are going to use the envelope that comes with it, you need to make sure that, um, and you're going to resize, you need to make sure that you're resizing the envelope with the image, right? So right now this envelope will fit this card because it came with it and it's sized that way. But if you have an envelope, you want to make this a very special card. Maybe you want to make it really big um, or you know, I don't know, some other thing. Um, and you want the maybe really small and you want the envelope to um, be able to fit whatever you want, then here's what I would suggest when you when you get it with the envelope, group it together, but use I 
put this envelope here underneath the image just so that I can kind of see the size of the card and then group it together and then you can change the size of the card and the envelope together. Okay, and then you still kind of get a good feel for, okay, this one here is a width of 6.7 or maybe you want to go smaller and make it smaller. Okay, so that's how you use the envelope with the image. All right, but I generally cut um, A7s or A2s. So in this case, I'm just going to cut the width of 10 and the height of 7. So what can we do that's sort of different about this instead of just using white paper? Um, and by the way, I use for my uh, cardstock, you guys have heard me, if you've been around, use a uh, like the eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock from Michaels and it makes great cards and it's solid. And so, um, so using solids, it's easy and it's easy to find enough, um, enough of the material that you need. But I like to gild the lily and in this case it's no different and so I started looking in my um, cardstock and I found a couple of really fun uh, fun pieces that I wanted to use so here's a couple that I did so I don't have to use the white I can use a patterned paper underneath also in this um, in this card we'll ungroup it just so you can see is an, an interior um, which you can cut as pink you can also change the sentiment like we just fit maybe you just want to give this really fun little uh valentine or love card to somebody maybe not necessarily your partner but just somebody like you like and it's fun so let's talk about changing that sentiment so to change the sentiment we would um detach the existing sentiment we detach down here so i have it selected i'm going to detach that's the paper clip um, and it's a paper clip that's broken. So that's detach. So once we detach, we can then remove the sentiment. Whoops, I shouldn't have moved that. Okay, um, we can remove the sentiment and we can change it if we want. If you want to change it, click, double click on it. And it's not letting me do that. So that's okay. Um, uh, let's say we want to change it to... Um, Let's change it to Let's Flamingo, which is the name I think of the of the cat the cat of the show today. Let's Flamingo. So to change it, I'm going to go to T Text, and I'm going to open a text box. Okay, and you'll see it's down here. I can't move this text box, so I wish I could. Right. Um, so what you want to change it with, just type in, let's flamingo, all right? Maybe an exclamation point. Now, <clears throat> this is a cut file. So this, this uh, text is a cut file. So we want to change it to a pen, right? Because that's what we just fit is, it's in pen. So we can do that by going up here to the font, this second um, feature of, of tools. So see, there's tools on the top, there's tools on the left, there's tools on the right. So we're going to go to the ones on the top, the second row, you'll see here's the font and the style. Now, it automatically assigns the Cricut Sans font, but you can change it to whatever you like. And you just click on that and you will be able to, and it's al almost dizzying, there's so many fonts. So if you find one you really like, make sure that you remember the name and it's easy to search for it. So you can just do search like this. And I love this one, Four Seasons Home Decor. So that's the one that I'm choosing. And I am going to choose it in the style of writing. Which for some reason, it is 
messing up. So, hmm, that's interesting. I don't know why, but let's see if I can't fix it. Nope, I can't fix it. And again, <laughs> this is this is our fun um this is our fun problem today is dealing with uh the let's see. <laughs> Let me choose something else. So, we'll choose this one. See if that works. Yeah, this one works. Um, but it's like really big. So let me just make it smaller. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm just reading the comments. Sorry. So, okay. So here is one and we've changed it to let's flamingo. And then you're going to resize it. So it fits on your card. You can use the card just sort of to get a feel for it. Here is where you can make some really interesting changes. You can align them. I like my sentiments centered. So I choose center. And that immediately will center it. But if you wanted to <clears throat> make it smaller or bigger or make the letters move together, um, make the spacing between the lines smaller or bigger, even curving the text, um, this all can be done here using this tool. Okay, so I'm not sure how much that's going to allow me to do that, but um, this is how I would go ahead and make those changes. So instead of we just fit, let's put let's fla mingle, right? Let's flamingo. And then once we choose that, we have to then select the card and the text, and we have to attach it. So once we attach it, then all of a sudden we just fit is not on there, and you can either hide it or eliminate it, and then you can go ahead and cut this out. So that's another way that you can customize. The um, the flamingos themselves are just like these really cute. There's a black piece, and then the pink piece. There are these two little... Um, like, I don't know, stripes for the noses and then the, um, the uh, wings that are shaped like hearts. Now you can cut them out in anything you want. And don't forget, you can do things like vinyl. So if you got a nice pink vinyl, say in a mystery box that you want to use because you don't have the pink paper, use it, use it. Of course, use it. I didn't have a chance to go through um, and find it. But what I did find was a little bit of red glitter from a Christmas card that I had. And so I cut that out for the, um, for the heart shape wings. So I'm going to show you how to put this together. It's super simple. But the point that I'm trying to make is that you're in charge Okay, you're in charge and uh, pink foil. Yeah, um, what about party foil? The, you know, there are lots of different stuff you can use and don't be limited with, oh, I only have this or that. Think in terms of what you have instead of trying to run out to the store and trying to find whatever it is I'm using or whatever it is you have in mind, boop, you know. Um, yeah, vinyl. And we need to uh, actually start using more vinyl um, in our projects. And I think one of the overlooked things that we um, we don't often do is using vinyl on cards. Works out great, especially the removable vinyl because it has a lower tack. Um, so we, we can start using foil, like yeah, definitely adhesive foil or um, or party foil that's glued on or whatever. So let's put these together. So simple. And, <clears throat> and it's just, you know, very easy to customize. Again, this is the paper that I'm using today um, in addition to my solid cardstock in case you want to see what it is called Sweet Talk. It's part of the Valentine's Day collection and I did get it at Michael's. I don't know if it's available online because when I went to look online, all the ones that I was interested in, um, including the Easter stuff, they're all sold out. I don't know if they're going to find it. But anyway, I cut out 
um, a couple of different patterns and so I cut them out instead of white I cut out this one it has a white interior and this one here has a white interior because it's from that same pattern pack and it's all that it is is just um, folded in half so let's go ahead and fold that in half whoops I'm kind of folding it in half the opposite way so let me turn it around all right here we go. So you can use something like this as a scraper or they have other things like boning tools or whatever, or you can just use your fingers. Um, and that is our inside of our card here. The I'm sorry, the outside of the card. So here's my two insides. I did one in white and one in pink. I'm just going to fold those pretty straightforward. Um, fold those here. Boop. Okay. Okay. So I put those aside. Now let's put together our flamingo so we've got the pink piece we've got the black piece and we have the little hearts and there's a corgi hair on mine Mwah. all right sorry <laughs> um the hearts here corgi hairs everywhere and then we have these little teeny tiny pieces that serve um as like right here where the beak is i guess i guess it's a beak so we're just going to go ahead and put them uh put a little bit of glue now if you're using vinyl you could just um you could just stick it to there and you wouldn't have to worry about glue so think in terms like that um, of ways to use vinyl or whatever and so I'm putting on the wings wings arms what are they called wings I guess wings and then and then I'm going to flip them over and or flip it over and put a little bit of glue in there <clears throat> for our body the black body so we can see those legs actually i think the black legs are inaccurate but who cares right doesn't have to be um biologically correct All right, so here's our flamingo. <clears throat> and then these little two little pieces. And I'm going to just put a little tiny dot of glue there to catch them. <clears throat> Boy, I'm the clump today. I don't know what's going on. Um, and then I'm using a little, uh, my weeding tool to get this little piece on there. <laughs> Um, you can use all kinds of different things to do this or your fingers, but my fingers are chubby. So I always use something like this to sort of get it on there. And then there we go. There we go. There you go, buddy. Okay. And then it's time to put it together. So let's take this and our flamingo and the interior of our card as well. And this is super easy. If you wanted to do inking or stamping or, um, uh, Let's see, or just mark, you know, doing some coloring with markers. Okay, you guys, um, you could do that too. That's what makes it, it's this so much fun. It's such an amazing outlet for our creativity. And sometimes you just need a little um, nudge when it comes to creativity and trying something new, right? So here we go. 
Oi, oi, oi. What's up with you guys, huh? Um, so this one's kind of fun, and we just fit in that, in this context would be probably fun for, like, a friend. Um, and then we're going to open up the card, and we are going to only glue on the inside of the card left on the inside left not the whole card remember because we do not want for it to have a problem with folding and opening so and we just made this really adorable card now granted i didn't cut it out with you but i cut them all out i cut all of these out um in in just a few minutes before I came on, and um, we have a perfect little card to send to a friend for a birthday. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. Here's another one. I'll show you how we put this one together. This one here. Again, we just what? put a little bit of glue on the inside of the card just on the left side we make sure that we're at that edge where it or at that score line so that it has this and having that double piece of um paper really gives it a real professional feel to it right and then you can cut out your um your your flamingos in anything you want and it can be a uh, holographic rose vinyl i think we got that and um or it can be paper or it can be adhesive i don't know let's let's just change it up and do some fun little things so that is it for this project nice easy project for you to do on a friday um and i want to just talk a little tiny bit about um, about tomorrow, tomorrow night is date night, cricket date night. And we are going to be working on a project. Um, we're going to be working on, I think what I'll do is since I did get the, um, pillowcases in, um, I will do that separately. And then, so on Saturday night, I'm going to take you start to finish through this, which is a dog bandana. Now I have this, my dogs are kind of medium size. Um, and we will, uh, we will change up the, the pattern. So basically what I did was I cut out a pattern. I created by hand and cut out a pattern for this. So I took a square and then a triangle and I welded them together to come up with my pattern. And then I cut out using my hand, um, my, you know, my hand scissors and cut out some fabric to create these doggy bandanas and this one these ones here have a little hole and I'm going to show you how to put them together start to finish how to cut them out um and then I will give you hopefully I can share the file with you because gosh it had so much problems lately um and then uh, I'll show you how to put them all together start to finish and then even we'll put some um, embellishments on there. So if you want to follow along, what I would suggest is you get yourself um, about a half a yard of cotton fabric, whatever you want. I like to use for my dogs, I like to use things like cotton because I can get a lot of really, this one has like little dots on it and some glitter that I found in my in my, like, I don't know, my scraps pile, I found a bunch of really, when I was making masks, I had them. So um, I just found enough to cut these out. And you do need a double layer, or you can come up with your own, um, your own, like, if you want to do a front and a back, like that, you could do that as well. Okay, so we're going to do that tomorrow night, seven o'clock for Cricut uh, date night, cricket chat.
Okay. Um, then that is it. I'm just going to go on and make some more cards, cleaning up and doing all kinds of things. By the way, um, if you were a winner from New Year's Eve, I haven't forgotten about you. I have, I needed to get the proper mailing um, envelope. So they came in yesterday too. So I can go ahead and, um, and get those out to you. Um, and I think that's it. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. If you can't join me for date night, then we'll see you again on Monday, um, where, where we do our mystery material Monday. So I'm going to have to come up with an idea for that. So I'll probably be working on that in my head tonight. Um, all right. And maybe we'll do patterned, um, iron on material because that, um, pattern iron on. I think people, some people are a little afraid of it. So maybe we'll make that our mystery material for Monday. Um, yay. So thanks everyone. We'll see you again tomorrow night. And oh, by the way, can I just mention, cause I see her sending hearts. Aledra came up with a great idea. If you are, uh, well, she, she, I, She's going to correct me. Um, she found a great idea of finding a little uh, glue. Wait, what is it? A tiny little magnet that you can glue onto your bottle of glue so that when you take off the pin, um, you can just sort of magnetize it here. I've got to try it, but I, my magnets are pretty big. Um and yeah, this is a medium size, so I'm going to try to make it smaller. So if you have a cat or a smaller dog, um, and so there is that. Now, let's see, I just, oh, um, a couple of the requests that I've received along the way the last couple of weeks, pop-up cards, a cupcake holder, um, using patterns in so that if you can't get the patterned paper how to use patterns um which I'm going to try to do that and um and those those are just a few of the requests that I've had this uh the last week or so okay um yay so that's about it I know the magnet, great idea. She's soon as she's, we're going to do large flowers. Yes, we're going to do a very large rose and that we're going to actually make in two sizes, one really big um, and smaller. So this template here, Sandy, um, I'm going to work on making two sizes for this and I'm hopefully going um, to be able to share it with you. But if you perhaps did, you know, if I cannot share it, I will tell you how I made it. Okay. Because it's very simple and, um, and it, it just really, it's so simple with the, with this, you just cut it out in two pieces. Okay. Yeah. Printable iron on printable iron on. We'll do that for, um, for a Monday, Monday mystery. Okay. All right, everyone, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll be around. So if you need to get in contact with me, feel free. And we'll see you um, tomorrow night for date night. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Enjoy. Circle monograms we can do, Kathy. Thank you. I will put that on my list. Circle monograms, pop-up, cupcake holders. Okay, bye, everyone.